Homeschool Nation to the Compass, a show where we discuss today's world from a Christian perspective. I'm Addison Boggs. And I'm Caleb Oates. Today we will, we will be discussing pop culture in today's society. Let's get started. Addie, how do you feel about TikTok? I honestly really like TikTok. It's one of the apps that I use almost every day. And one of my favorite features is the For You page feature. Um, on the For You page, the videos that are shown are personalized to the user. And I think that's really interesting because my For You page might be different from yours. Um, the app has grown a tremendous amount in the last three to four years. And I've personally been able to sit there and watch how it has developed each and every year until it has become the monstrosity that it is today. How do you feel about the app, Caleb? Well, I've never personally had TikTok, but I've heard it has its pros and cons. Um, so what I hear about the pros is that sometimes it can help people grow their educational experiences and help them learn. But on the flip side of all that, I've heard that it can start some dangerous trends. I know what you mean. TikTok, which originally started as Musical.ly, has been around since 2014. The app saw growth in users starting in 2019, and as of 2022, has over a billion users. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding the Chinese-based app, which was almost banned in the U.S. in 2020 amid concerns about the misuse of private information. Some TikTok trends have been fun and lighthearted, such as numerous dance challenges, hacks, and DIYs, or even profiles dedicated to motivational TikToks. There have also been some trends that have put our society in danger. Cooking your chicken with NyQuil, holding your breath until you pass out, and throwing things in the air to see who it hits are all dangerous trends that have come out of TikTok. While aimlessly scrolling might be a great way to pass the time, be careful what you are putting on the, uh, on the app or what you are listening to because just because it's a trend doesn't mean you should do it. Cam asked some students what they think about TikTok trends. Let's see what they had to say. On this week's show, we're talking about some of our favorite TikTok trends. Right here I have AR with me and she's going to tell me about one, one of her favorite trends right now. So I really like that. Um trend where it's a bunch of picture collages to Run Boy Run by Woodkid. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I love, like, they've been trying to get, like, the idea of, like, so many pictures in, like, a small, like, amount of time, and, like, it just gives you so many, like, types of, like, your mind wonders, honestly, when you see, like, these pictures, like, uh, I love those trends as well. Thanks, AR. Yeah. Next, we have Callie, and she's going to tell me about her favorite TikTok trend right now. Callie, what's your favorite trend right now? Uh, where's give you twenty dollars to make you laugh. I Man on the street. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. They're kind of funny. They're hilarious. I, I literally I laugh too much at them. <laughs> Again, people. Some people react. Some people ignore them. Yeah. Some people like it's people recording him. It's hilarious. And then there's some people that just like sit there and tell him a bunch of jokes. It's yeah. Because kind of they're dad jokes. <laughs> right. Right. Thanks, Callie. You're welcome. Next, we have Madison right here, and she's going to tell me about her favorite trend right now. Madison, what is your favorite trend right now? My favorite TikTok trend right now is the It's Cold. Oh my god, uh, awesome. It's boy. hilarious. Like, I watched that video maybe 10 times a night. It's hilarious. Thank you, Madison. You're welcome. Next, we have Lexi here with us, and Lexi will tell me about her favorite TikTok trend right now. Lexi, what's your favorite trend right now? Um, probably the two of Oh my god, she is hilarious. Like, that's, that's a great choice. Great choice. Thanks, Lex. Thanks, Cam. Next up, Julia is talking about the negative side effects of social media on the younger generation and how pop culture helps culture grow around the world. Let's see what she had to say. Pop culture involves various aspects of our culture, including music, social media, and cultural advancement. I really enjoy uh, listening to music because it really helps me like focus when I'm working. It helps me like get hyped when I'm working out. It really gives me like a sense of motivation. While music can have a huge positive effect on our youth, there is another avenue of pop culture which also heavily influences youth today. Social media is introduced way too early in the lives of young people um, and way too much. Students use social media momentarily all throughout their day and get in a lot of trouble based off of things that are online. Children are not solid enough in their personal values, thoughts, and opinions to make those opinions on their own. And when they see celebrities or other people in pop culture influencing people, they are going to fluctuate their thoughts and opinions a lot based off of what other people do. 
the negative influence in pop culture through social media can tend to have adverse effects on children. But the positive effects of our pop culture can play a huge part in cultural growth all around the world. People are understanding how different we are in different ways like in schools or colleges or eating habits or freedom or dependency and fashion. So people are becoming more aware. While well, certain influences in pop culture can have a negative impact on the lives of our young people, the positive influences that it also brings has the possibility to promote healthy change in our future generation. Thanks, Julia. With more platforms comes more influencers. Social media apps like TikTok and Instagram have made influencers millions of dollars simply for posting a photo or short video. TikTok influencer Charlie D'Amelio made a video with a friend in high school in 2019 and is now worth $20 million. Influencer Noah Beck went from playing Division I soccer to posting videos for $5 million. Not only have the platforms created their own influencers, but it has given previous celebrities another way to reach their fans. This can be a good thing unless the celebrity abuses their power. Recently, Kanye West was slammed for using social media to make a series of anti-Semitic anti remarks. Giving celebrities too much power could be the downfall of our society. I definitely agree, Caleb. After the break, we'll be interviewing student Yo-Yo Echeverria. Then later, Cam is back out on the street in a surprising way. This is what winners are made of. This is what leaders are made of. This is what scholars are made of. This is what believers are made of. This is what warriors are made of. I'm here today with Yo-Yo Echeverria. Yo-Yo is a sports management major with a minor in media communications. She works for Sue Athletics and runs the program's TikTok account. How are you doing today, Yo-Yo? I'm good. How are you, Addie? I'm good. Do you use TikTok? And can you tell us about your personal experience with the app? Yeah, definitely. So I use TikTok just to um, view more information that I can use for the different pages I um, work with, like I work for the Sue Athletics, making just some reels. Now I do marketing stuff, and then I use some of them for our lacrosse page. Um, it's hard to just be in TikTok for like less than an hour just because you keep scrolling and scrolling because there's just so much information. And you're like, wow. But at the end of the day, it's just like it gets boring at one point, you know, but. What's it like having to use the platform for work? Um, it's different, I guess, just because I look up things instead of just scrolling. Um, I look up different athletics, such as Maryland schools or like just the big ones, Clemson. And I try doing different things that they do, but kind of using the same sounds and stuff. How do you feel about the TikTok trends? Um, some of them are dumb, of <laughs> course, but other ones are kind of cool. like. The ones that you're running and you're like filming and you're just pouring milk, it's just funny, you know? But some of them are like eating corn, you know? <laughs> yeah. We talk about it in class a lot, but it's kind of like at one point it just gets annoying. <laughs> so, uh, What do you think about the influencers that are becoming popular on social media? Um, some of them, again, like the beat schools are good to watch and stuff, but some of them are just like, weird you know yeah. like it's just crazy how one video can make you viral and then you're just like famous like a three-year-old can go viral and then now he's famous like for life so that's kind of crazy to me how do you think uh celebrities influence popular culture um i think just because they have a big platform and people look up to them especially young kids just look up to famous people Sometimes they do dumb things and kids are like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. And I'm like, no, it's not. Like, please don't do that. And then we as adults sometimes just keep looking up to people in social media and we're trying to like be like them. But at the end of the day, it's like hard to be like them just because they just try to put so much out there and we just try to gain so much from them that I think that makes us 
um, follow our life that it's not really us, I guess. So. And lastly, how do you think we as Christians should interpret popular culture in today's society? Um, personally, I think you can just get the best out of it. Um, there are trends that you don't want to follow. Um, there are people you don't want to follow. And at the same time, it's like, as a Christian, you just know, like, you know, what's good, what's bad. And we decide what we want to watch and what we don't. So it's kind of like, if you see something that you're like, this is wrong, you just scroll or this is boring, you scroll. As Christians, I think that's the same thing. If you see something that you don't think it's right, you just scroll, you know, so. Thank you so much for joining us, Yo-Yo. Next up, Cam is back on the street as he takes a crack at popular culture trends. Wake up and focus. Cause this is not a drill. This is not about cliches, shallow taglines, or some inspirational quote for you to tweet, snap, pin, or post. No, this is where snooze buttons are frozen. Alarm clocks are broken. Where feet hit the floor cause dreams are now woken. This is it. Awaken your dreams, awaken your soul, awaken your purpose. This is Southern Wesleyan University. much cam caleb what kinds of social media apps do you have use on your day-to-day -day basis and which one are your favorites so i have instagram twitter and snapchat i only use instagram and snapchat for the most part uh, twitter i just follow some sports and that's about it so i think my favorite personally is instagram and that's just because I get to keep up with my family and a lot of my close friends, and it seems a little bit more expansive than Snapchat has been for me. How about you? Well, honestly, I have a good amount. I have Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, Visco, Twitter even. However, I don't use Twitter that often. Um, I would have to say that my favorite is probably Instagram as well, just because you're able to be creative like you can design your own stories on Instagram. You can post, edit your pictures. You're able to keep up with friends from high school. Like, I mean, I still have friends that are halfway across the country and they're college and I'm able to keep up with them through Instagram. Facebook does sort of the same thing, but it's just almost for a different generation, yeah. in my opinion. 
Uh, Snapchat was big for me in high school and middle school, but now that I'm in college, like I just don't use it as much. I still do, but it's mostly just Instagram for me. But uh, I mean, I do have a lot of social media accounts, so I try to keep up with what's going on in today's culture. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for joining today. Make sure you tune in next time as we discuss religion.